Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ciara and please do remember if you do not like what I say, how I say it, or why I say it, then please do feel free to click off this video and go about the rest of your day in peace. And so we are back again doing another weekly reading. And so this is covering the week of August 2nd to the 8th. And in this week, of course, on the 3rd, we have the full moon in Aquarius, which is on a Monday. Of course, double check when like the exact time of the full moon is happening for your particular location, but just some general information about, you know, working with this full moon in Aquarius, what is it best for? So it is really good for magics involving science, freedom, creative expression, problem solving, extrasensory abilities, friendship, and, you know, breaking you know, breaking of bad habits or unhealthy addictions, things like that. It's also good for anything health-related for magics, including, you know, the calves, the ankles, or your blood. So if you have any issues along, along those areas, it's a good time to work magic for that. Since it's on a Monday, that is ruled by the moon. So doubly strong moon energy happening then. Um, that is, of course, energy is female. So again, working with those kind of elements is important. You know, it rules the emotions, protection, healing, and women's mysteries. Uh, again, it's good for magics involving the subconscious, healing, emotions, love, spirituality, healing wounds, children, small animals, women's mysteries, the female side of men, as well as mothers, sisters, female partners, wives, instincts, you know, any of those kind of areas could be really good to work particular magics involving that. So, of course, with that said, let me go ahead and introduce the three piles that we have here today. So, for pile one, we have the snakeskin agate with this kitty. For pile two, we have the picture jasper with that one. And, of course, for pile three, we have the pistachio opal with that kitty right there. So, definitely take as much time as you need to select your pile or piles because again this is a general reading so not every card not every message may resonate for you personally or at all so again if you are attracted to more than one pile there may be like a particular message a particular card there that is meant for you to give you some guidance in regards to this overall week and what you need to know and of course if you'd like to support this channel in any way there's going to be various links down below to my patreon amazon wishlist and information about how to book a private reading so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into the message right, for those of you who picked pile one with the snake skin yeah snake skin agate in this particular cat of course we're going to start off as always by pulling some charms for you guys for the week and let's just see what you guys get Alrighty, so going with the little amount of charms this time around we have an eye a W, an N will win. So maybe you guys are going to be winning something in this particular week. We also have an A. So again, if you see any other words or names or anything significant here in the letters, definitely do let me know. Also, you might be seeing 111 synchronicities a lot. We have the message of love is an experience of infinity. We also have this best friend forever charm. So maybe friendships are going to be involved in this week in some way. There could be definitely a wish being granted. I definitely see there's a lot of cycles of things that you're paying attention to. Maybe within your own country, around the world. You know, things are progressing and changing. Um, I definitely feel like there's a need to, of raising your perspective on things. And, you know, thinking with more clear intention. Yeah, there's definitely a need to, you know, you know, be approach things from a very strong standpoint, but it's like just because you're, you know, strong doesn't mean that you can't, you know, appreciate your bo beauty or something like that, you know, or again, there might be a perspective that because you look a certain way, people might assume things about you that you're weak or that you are not as strong as you are, but that's definitely not the fucking case. Um, there could be some unexpected pri surprises or I said prizes. I don't know what's going on for you guys. There, might, I feel like there's some interesting luck happening for you guys in this week. Maybe you're going to be spending some time with friends. You might be seeing things from a clearer perspective in that way. Interesting. So let's go ahead and 
start diving into your cards. And of course, we're going to start off with the tarot. So for your overall energy and sort of theme for the week here, we have, holy shit. I can't believe that because again, we had this charm in here, which again is literally a wheel. So it makes me think of the wheel of fortune. Um, and that is literally your overall energy and theme for the week is the wheel of fortune. So yeah, there's some unexpected luck maybe happening in this week. If you've been having bad luck or something, things are going to change for the better. Um, things are always ch changing and progressing. And that is so weird because how this fell out. It looks like a wheel behind it, but of course we have the hanged man. So yeah, there's been some stagnant situations of late. Things are going to progress and something is going to help to shake up the stagnant energy. You're going to change up your perspective in this week. And it's going to be like a happen chance. It's going to be faded. Um, and it's going to be in divine timing. We also have the empress. So yeah, maybe this has to do with a project that you guys have been working on. Um, some sort of fertility or... Again, creation of some sort. Venus energy for sure. We also have the Eight of Cups. And we have the High Priestess. Uh, so yeah, following you need to definitely follow your intuition in this week. Uh, make sure that you're moving in the correct direction. Moving away from things that are no longer serving you with the Eight of Cups. We also, yeah, because look at that. I feel like you guys are going to be... You've been in kind of a stuck situation as of late. But in this week, it's like you're going to get some sort of faded occurrence that is going to shake things up for you and you're going to realize that you know you need to move away from whatever the certain situation is or maybe change your plans in some aspect because you're tapping into something with your intuition and again it's going to lead to this long lasting abundance here with the ace of pentacles because that's what this is it's a fresh start a new start for you guys um, a lot of major arcana is coming up so this is definitely an important week for you guys definitely pay a lot of attention to the signs and synchronicities happening around you let's go ahead and also let's move these on up here and let's dive into some of your oracle cards as well and see what else you guys need to know so for your crystals for this week so crystals that might be you know important for you to work with use first up we have ruby which of course, what is ruby? It's a hot pink to cabernet red. Ruby is a precious gemstone that has bedazzled royalty for centuries. Ruby is a fearless guide and protector, pointing you in the direction of a rich and passionate life. Who needs it? Anyone with something worth fighting for in Aries. Where to put it? In a ring on the hand you throw punches with in the boudoir. When to use it? When you want to show the world you're both beautiful and ferocious. This is totally the energy I was picking up with uh, your particular the particular charm I was feeling this energy with was the swan because you know swans are beautiful but they're also really fucking ferocious um so yeah that that makes a lot of sense right here uh when your sex life needs a heaping tablespoon of spice when the um doldrums have you down reach for ruby and some really red lipstick and come out swinging feed your fires yeah exactly so it this week can definitely bring you a lot of passion, a lot of excitement if you reach for the opportunities when they present themselves. So, because again, with the Wheel of Fortune, it's like, it's a kind of a, I feel like there's going to be once in a blue moon kind of chances of certain things happening and you need to seize those opportunities when they come through. So the other stone we have here is opal. Opals are well hydrated and amorphous mineral mineraloids precious opals are lusted after for their rainbow sparkle aka diffraction common opals form in a range of colors and can deliver sensations that are anything but common so who needs it the all black wardrobe set can benefit from precious black precious opals bold pop of color and spiritual protection not so prolific artists can ride fire opals burn so where to put it general rule white and blue vibe with the head, pink vibes with the heart, and black vibes with the lower abdomen. So when to use it? When you have something that needs to get moving, a project, a relationship, or an energetic block. So feel all your feels. That makes total sense here, guys, because again, with that empress being present, that has a lot to do with, you know, maybe a project that you guys need to get moving. Again, I feel like the energy needs to get moving in this week, and I feel like fate is going to kind of push you to do that. 
Um, if some of you, this has to do with relationships, obviously it's time to put some spice back into the relationship or again, what you're pursuing in maybe your sexual life or again, romantic life. It's time to get out there and be a little bit more bold with it and be, you know, very confident. And maybe some of you need to switch things up and move away from maybe the typical, you know, routine that you guys have been doing for a while. So as far as the magic that you should work for this full moon that's happening in this week, we have wisdom here. So on a Wednesday with a waxing moon, let wisdom come and be renewed. So also this is going to be, you know, whatever it is you're working with this particular full moon, you should carry it on to, again, that waxing moon. Um, or again, you guys should maybe work on building up this energy. So maybe like the week before the full moon, hopefully, or again, something maybe you were working on it. <laughs> what am I trying to say here? Maybe the week before the full moon on that Wednesday, there was something significant that happened that maybe you should reflect on and kind of work that into the magic they're working with this full moon. I feel like it's important to pay attention to your instincts and again, your intuition, because we have those owls appearing here, which is a very high priestess like animal. Um, Definitely, maybe for some of you, you want to work with, like, Athena. That just popped into mind for some of you. Very interesting. So, it's funny. What else you need to know for this week? We also have look in a book. Whatever your question right now, uh, you'll find the answer in a book. The words you will, uh, the words you find will bring the insight you seek. That is totally crazy because, again, you got wisdom right here. So, there's obviously something in a book around you. You need even pick up a random book, maybe a book that you've been re meaning to read for a while now. Try to get some reading done in this particular week because there's something inspirational or again, something that's going to answer a question for you um, in this particular week. Maybe some of you are even working on writing a book. I feel like could be a possibility for some of you as well. We also have... Uh, majesty. So meet majesty. She lives inside each one of us. She is the queen of the vulnerable heart, the yearning soul, and the seeking mind. She helps us see our majesty, helps us to honor our gifts, hone our skills, and be true to our word. Let us not diminish ourselves with endless self-criticism and self-negotiation. Um, we must wear our own crown of light and love with confidence and grace and a generosity of spirit. We all have something to teach and share with our fellows. Cultivate kindness and respect towards yourself so that your gifts may flourish and be shared freely with those around you. Exactly, guys. So again, be confident, you know, wear your crown and don't be too self-critical. I feel like maybe that's something you guys have been doing way too much recently. You need to kind of relax and again, trust in what it is you want to bring forth and sort of that it's going to maybe inspire other people around you as well. So for some final messages, we're going to pull some tea leaf cards here for you guys. And we have first up my discord among friends or family. So maybe that's why your uh, that friend charm was coming up. You could maybe have some arguments with friends or family in this week. We have fair man with dealings or relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. We also have the ink pot with problems to be resolved. So the, maybe some problems that you've been having recently, maybe with friends or family, or maybe this fair man could be resolved in this week. We also have barrel. You feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. Mm, that's that hangman energy, I feel like. We have vine. Seek out information that will help you. Wisdom. Again, look in a book. We have chain, again, a chain of events that will affect your life. This is very Wheel of Fortune. Like, all of these little things are kind of building up and leading you in a direction. You can't see the destination, but again, it's not about the destination. It's about the journey you're taking to there. And then finally, we have four-leaf clover. Great, good fortune. Exactly. I feel like you guys are going to kind of like step on a four-leaf clover in this week uh, with that Wheel of Fortune energy here. The Wheel of Fortune brings both good and bad. But again, when it brings bad, it brings good. When it brings good, it can come with a little bad, but that's just part of the challenge of it. So that is everything I'm seeing here for you guys for this particular week. So if this resonated, please do leave a like, comment down below. And of course, if you like to help support this channel and, you know, continuing to bring you videos like this, please do consider supporting my Patreon. Again, there's Amazon wishlist that helps support the channel as well. And of course, various other links and information about how to book a private reading with me or me and my Pisces twin. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. For those one. of you who picked pile two with the picture Jasper and this kitty here, we're going to go ahead 
and start, as always, by pulling some charms for you guys for this week. Let's see. All right. Let's see what we got here. So, for some additional messages, we have, it's not talking of love, but living in love. That is everything. We have the beauty of the soul is constant, continuous, and endless. We also have here... Impression is for the now. Trust is in the future. So you got to have more trust in this week and the things that you're working on. If we live happy, if we give happiness to others, we will end up happy. Exactly. I definitely feel like there's a possibility for you guys to really start something new here with this wand energy, something fiery, something passionate. There might be a lot of fire signs who are watching this particular pile. And I definitely feel like you know, this is the energy of just do it. So if there's something that you've been wanting to do, you need to start it in this week. You just need to go after it. I definitely see an emphasis here with the amethyst and the, um, let's see. This is lapis lazuli here. So obviously like an emphasis on your throat, your crown, your third eye chakras. Those could be really on fire in this week. So pay attention. I also see, you know, there's definitely an emphasis here on healing um, the past, past wounds, you know, integrating your shadow self a little bit more. Yeah, that third eye is going to be really on fire. We also have a Z here, so I don't know if Z, if this is significant in any way, or maybe the number 10 or 1. Um, your roots are important here. I definitely see, you know, we have a lot of stars showing up. We have a lot of stars here, so I definitely feel like, you know, magic is important. Wishes, wishing on a star. There could be an unexpected gift here. You need to have to, you know, you have to have faith for sure. Um, definitely be confident and really show off your unique self. Um, don't hide that aspect. We also have three necklaces coming up here. So I don't know if there's something significant about a necklace in this particular week. Um, there could definitely be somebody, I, I don't know, I got the sense of somebody who is admiring you. Um, somebody who might have a crush on you. I don't know why that came into mind. Um... I don't know. Now I'm just thinking of Kikui from JoJo with the cherries. And then we have the anchor here. Um, I don't know why. But, you know, there could be somebody anchoring you still in the past for some reason. And again, you need to kind of clear up that energy for sure. Um, get moving. Get more playful. Just have more fun with it in this week for sure. Don't be such like a, I don't know why the word Debbie Downer came into mind. Uh, but let's go ahead and see what the overall energy here is for you guys for this week. And we have... The Emperor with Tuxedo Mask. So clearly, guys, here, yeah, this is a really good week for you guys to start really focusing on your goals and what it is that you want to achieve in particular. It's like you have the ability, you have the power. Um, it's just a matter of applying yourself. And again, understanding when it is to ask for help because you don't have to do everything on your own. The Emperor knows how to delegate his power. Um, and again, he doesn't back down from his own power either, I feel like. Have confidence, definitely for sure. And there we go. So, so we have the Knave of Pentacles here. So yeah, learning more, you know, achieving more in your work here. There's more areas of study that you need to put in, but you can definitely achieve a lot work um, and career-wise, I feel like. Let's see what else we have. We also have, oh, we have the Lovers. So there might be a choice for you guys to make. Maybe even some of you are choosing between more than one lover here. I definitely see Aries energy coming up again. So I don't know if some of you are an Aries or maybe you're dealing with an Aries in this week. Maybe somebody who is a romantic interest could be an Aries. Um, but yeah, there could be maybe an emphasis on this week for you guys for love and relationships as well. Yeah, we have the five of cups. So again, you need to stop, again, living in the past. Um, don't be crying over those spilt cups anymore because you have a lot more opportunities than you realize. It's just a matter of um, engaging and really utilizing that power you have. Whoa, that's fucking crazy. We have the five of wands here. So I don't know if you've also been maybe in conflict. Maybe some of you even like broke up recently with a lover or some friends or something like that. And it's like... Because again, that five of wands has a lot to do with competition or conflicts with groups of people. So there could be maybe a situation like that from the past that you're still kind of thinking about or maybe is going to come up in this week. Let's see. Oh, we got the magician. See, you guys totally have the power, though, to move beyond that and to achieve what it is that you want. 
Yeah, definitely, because we got the chariot here as well. You can really move forward with a lot of victory and a lot of success if you just, again, apply yourself in the right way. And lastly, we have the Ten of Wands. So yeah, finally finishing a cycle, letting go of the past and the responsibilities that you're holding on that are really not your own anymore. Um, and releasing that and focusing more on yourself and on your particular goals. Interesting in this week, so... Let's go ahead and start looking at your Oracle cards. So for your crystal for this week that you might be beneficial for you to use and utilize, we have Selenite, which is, of course, it is Icy Selenite is a form of gypsum with a calm, cool, and collected vibe. So who needs it? Healers, believers, the currently cleansing, juice, technology, etc. So maybe some of you need to go on kind of a cleanse in this week um, from whatever it is that you, maybe you've been putting too much of your energy towards. So... Where to put it? Wherever you want to uh, wipe us, uh, the wherever you want the slate wiped clean, i.e., your bedside table after a brutal work week, or around your apartment after somebody extra shady visits. Again, that could be a part of this like five of cups and this five of wands energy here. When to use it? When you move into a new space and want any lingering bad juju to vamoose. When you pray to gods above. When you've been working with crystals and want to clear away energy they've picked up on in the process, give them a gentle tap with selenite. Clear your path to enlightenment. So yeah, selenite is a must. If you're going to have a lot of crystals and you're going to work a lot with crystals, you definitely need to have a good piece or two of selenite. Um, because selenite is a naturally cleansing and charging crystal that if you put it around other crystals, it will naturally cleanse and charge those crystals instead of necessarily always doing something like, you know, putting it, your crystals in moonlight, you know, cleansing your crystals with salt water, depending on the crystal. Selenite here is definitely a crystal you do not want to get near water because it will dissolve the crystal. So keep that in mind. But yeah, selenite, you, you definitely need to kind of... Again, clear, clean out, clean out house basically here, especially with those five of wands and that five of cups energy so that you can get, get focused here about, you know, rejuvenating and really bringing up your energy with that magician here. You definitely can manifest some shit in this week, I feel like as well. So as far as the magic you should work with this particular full moon on the third, we have... Dream sweet, dream sweet, and sleep deep. Sleep that's deep and lasts till morn. Wondrous dreams for days reborn. So obviously you guys should work some dream magic here um, on the full moon. You definitely need to make sure you're getting adequate sleep in this particular week as well. Again, don't be staying up super late thinking about, you know, the past or again, past mistakes whatever this five of cups represents for you i also felt called because this card came up to pull from the sweet dreams card here to see what else you guys should know let's see and there we go so we got joy i follow my bliss and accept limitless joy so these are kind of affirmations you could say before you start going to sleep we have fearlessness. I pay close attention to my heart and mind. I do not allow fear to distract me. Exactly. And then we have, look at that, let go. I am kind to myself and share my beauty with those around me. I let go of self-criticism. So yeah, you guys should definitely let go of any self-criticism. Uh, self you need to be more fearless. Because again, you got that chariot card. You can really drive forward. Make sure you're balancing though your work, your private life, your emotions, your physical well-being, um, as well as your masculine and feminine qualities here, because we have very masculine energy here with the um, emperor coming through. So we also have for you guys tree wisdom. So this tree dirad will help you navigate through your current situation. Her flute can reveal insights and answers to the sound it makes. So Definitely a couple things coming out here. You guys should definitely spend some time outdoors underneath a tree. You should maybe find a particular tree in your area if you can that is in, you know, a nice enough place where you can really work some magic with that tree, bond with that tree, leave an offering for that tree and the dyad that lives within it, and... You know, work that magic as well, I feel like, for the full moon. I also feel like some of you could be very clairaudient in this week. So pay attention to the music you hear, the messages that come through lyrics, all that kind of stuff. So we also have 
you guys got two of these little kitties here. So the first one is balance and you got that chariot. It makes so, mu so much sense. So meet Varo Tiptoe Sky. <laughs> That's quite the name. Uh, she can balance perfectly with an inner precision and assurance. She leans one way and then the other constantly. And that's so funny that that description here. She leans one way and then the other, constantly adjusting and learning where her center lies. And that is totally like trees. Trees bend, they sway, they move, but they always, you know, they move with that. They don't fall, they don't topple. They know how to be really well balanced. So again, for you guys working with that tree energy is really, really important. And again, like even doing something like tree pose will really help to teach you this. Um, so anyway, she understands the dichotomies, work and play, togetherness and solitude, inner reflection and outward expression, striving and letting go, and you have that let go card, accepting and changing, freedom and discipline, reason and intuition, spiritual expansion and grounding. They go on and on. Let Varo help you to see what areas of your life are out of balance and what shifts you can make to return to a graceful equilibrium. That is definitely your focus here for this week is to find your balance again. And lastly, we got imagination. So meet Zed. He might not look like your ordinary house cat, um, but in fact, he is one. He doesn't come from outer space or from a far off land. He lives just around the corner. He is the maker of his own kitty verse. He is constantly recreating himself to mirror the infinite possibilities of his imagination. Today he is purple and green, but tomorrow he might be made of flowers, and the next day he might have stars for eyes. We are all in a constant state of becoming. We don't need to always stick with the familiar A, B, and C. Sometimes we can reach for Z. Oh my god. Holy shit, I just got fucking chills. We can reach for Z and your letter was fucking Z. That is fucking crazy, dude. That is so wild. And stars for eyes and you had so many stars and your charms. That is wild. Okay. So let's go ahead and pull just some final messages for you guys of things maybe uh, other things you need to keep in mind for this week. Uh, so, from the tea leaves, we have Teapot with deep friendship with someone of the same sex. Very interesting. Uh, let's see, what else do we have for this group here? Uh, we got Mule. Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. That can, you know, that can kind of go with that Aries energy sometimes. Just a warning. We got Caterpillar. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. We also have lobster financial pinch, so definitely keep an eye on your finances in this week. You know, I mean, we do have that knave of pentacles. You know, learning how to better manage your finances, I feel like, is important. We got well with family wishes come true. We also have the boot with increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Very much that emperor energy, the magician coming through, chariot. Yeah, that makes sense. And finally let's go with these ones oh we have an astral house here with wealth so yeah your business your wealth your money your career is definitely going to be an emphasis in this week i feel like you're kind of trying to achieve and learn more about that and then we have the gavel involvement with the law interesting i don't know how that resonates for some of you but without further ado that is everything i'm seeing here for your pile so if this resonated please do drop a like comment down below what you thought about it and of course if you'd like to help support the channel in any way that would be a huge help and thank you guys if you go ahead and check out those various links down below to my own patreon amazon wish list social media and of course information about how to book a private reading with me or me and my uh, Pisces twin. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you. For those of you who picked the third and final pile here with the pistachio opal, we're going to go ahead and jump into your charms as always. Let's see what you know for this week. Mm. All right. So let's see what we got here for you guys. So we have prosperity is within us. We have lift people up to their potential and higher self. We also have everlasting impact with compassion and kindness is called love. We also have appreciate yourself and honor your soul. We have it's not talking of love, but living in love. That is everything. We also have you will enjoy good health. You'll be surrounded by luxury. We also have, you will always live happy if you live with heart. 
We also have the message of, my opinion is that you never find happiness until you stop looking for it. Exactly. And that's so, that's so true. It's like the moment you stop kind of worrying about what you're manifesting or you're looking for this particular thing and it's like, you just kind of let go and you trust in the universe. That is when it unexpectedly just kind of drops in your lap when you least expect it. So we also have an A here. We have an L. And we have an N, so I don't know if there's anything significant in these letters for you guys, but definitely pay attention to those. Also, you might be seeing 111 synchronicities. We have the zodiac signs here, uh, Virgo. We also have Cancer. And we have Scorpio. So maybe some of you are watching this are Virgo, Cancer, or Scorpio. Maybe you have these placements in your natal chart. You're dealing with people like this. Or we, it has to do with being practical in this week. Also imaginative and passionate. Very interesting. It's like kind of mirroring and combining, you know, that very imaginative, passionate side with some practical how-tos to make it happen, I feel like is important. We have that daddy's girl charm, so maybe your father is going to be significant in this particular week in some aspect. Maybe it's his birthday. I see clarity of mind coming through. Transformation for sure. Um, again, there's, there's lots of layers to what it is you're thinking about. The importance of your childhood. The importance of the inner world and the outer world. We have that best friend charm making another reappearance here, so... Maybe there's something significant about a friend that you used to know. I feel like it's important to kind of find your inner peace in this week as well. Making sure that you're staying rooted, you're staying grounded, but not stagnant. Um, I don't know how maybe March is significant for some of you. Aquamarine. Um, again, maybe an unexpected friend from the past could be coming up in this week. Definitely some history. Or maybe it has to do more with family. Uh, there's something that's going to be unlocked in this week, some sort of key that you haven't thought about before, but it's coming through. Let's go ahead and dive into your cards now and see what the overall energy is for your week here. And the overall energy we have is strength. Again, Leo season, we're moving into that. And of course, with that, you know, it's important to, again, be strong, be courageous, you know, but not like overbearing. That's important too. You need to make sure that you're staying balanced. Trust in yourself and your own abilities. I get, oh, really interesting. Okay, one last card. All right, I guess a couple more cards. So let's go ahead and move these about and see what we got here. So I think it's pretty crazy that one of the cards that we have here is the chariot and you have that cancer energy coming through so again the importance of balancing things out you can really achieve a lot in this week if you kind of drive forward with confidence and again strength um you know not judging a book by its cover is also important i feel like again maybe you're returning home we have the hermit here so yeah um you could be moving on your path to becoming kind of a teacher for others, or maybe there's a teacher who's appearing for you in this week, you know, spending some time to really kind of contemplate and study more. We also have the three of swords. So I don't know if there's been some past heartbreak that's happened, but I feel like you, it's important for you guys to heal from that. Maybe it had something to do with family or inheritance. Uh, with that Ten of Pentacles, we also have the Nine of Wands. So yeah, not giving up the fight, not giving up on yourself, keep persevering. We also have the Six of Swords. So yeah, moving away from the things that are no longer serving you, um, moving in a new direction. We also have the Two of Swords, a lot of sword energy. So a lot that has to do with your thinking, um, coming to a point of making a decision. You're having trouble seeing the positive in a certain outcome, but there is a positive, again, when you least expect it. We also have the Five of Swords. So yeah, lay, lay down the sword, stop the fighting, stop the, you know, the conflict or the struggling because it's not going to help you. Jesus Christ, we have the Nine of Swords too. You have two nines. The Nine of Swords, you know, if you've been having any stress, anxiety, depression, trouble sleeping, Part of it has to do with, again, what you're holding on to from the past, maybe, or maybe a recent situation where you're having, I don't know, I feel like there's a lot of shit happening with you guys in your mind. Things about family, things about friends and connections, things about your own personal life, and it's like you're, you're struggling with trying to keep up the endurance. 
We also have the Knight of Swords. Damn, so much sword energy. It's all about communication. And then we also have the Hierophant here. So yeah, the father um, could be playing a role in this. Not Again, not giving up. The Knight of Swords can be very rash. And he can be kind of cold sometimes. But... Wow. There's a lot going on here. Hmm. Let's go ahead and see what other stone um, cards we have here. In fact, you guys got... Um, a lot of stones that you might need to work in um, this week, work with in this week. So let's start with those. So for the first one here, we have blue calcite. So what is it? Dreamy Calm Blue Calcite is the fresh from the meditation retreat vision board making hippie of the calcite family. <laughs> who needs it? People who stare up at the ceiling worrying about the future at 3 a.m. That is that nine of swords. It's also that two of swords coming through. It's like, yeah, you guys need to stop that. Where to put it? On your bedside table. So this is a stone that's coming through to definitely help you um, with your sleep. So, when to use it? When stress is the enemy, freaking out is not a prerequisite for accomplishment. Deadlines are not death sentences. Stress will extinguish your creativity and crush your dreams if you let it. Call on the calming, focused energy of blue calcite to remind you to put stress in its place, far away from the joy, the process, and the delight of dreaming big. Act on your dreams. That is totally wild. And also, got a piece of that blue calcite right here for you guys, so... Next up, we also have this stone here, which is Vandenite. I'm not sure exactly how you say this, but playful, geometric, and fiery Vandenite, a mining byproduct often found, uh, often sourced from America's Southwest, forms an orange to red hexagonal shaped crystal crystals when lead are, or is oxidized. So who needs it? Those lacking in self-discipline. Mm -hmm. uh, where to put it uh, has a high lead content so definitely not in your mouth <laughs> when to use it when it's time to live in the moment when you are the prime audience for a motivational speech whether it's hard work making art or just a blissed out moment free from the mind's ongoing commentary yeah an energizing meditation with van de Knight can help knock down whatever stands between you and your happy place break through your big blocks you guys have a lot of like mental blocks that you're working through definitely in this week uh because again you have so much sword energy coming up so again your thinking your communication it's all coming through in this week and you're needing to find more discipline in it you definitely need to find some more sleep in your life um in order to you know again drive forward and achieve what it is you want Lastly here, we got Bloodstone, which definitely is another good stone for Pisces as well. So, Bloodstone is an earthy green chalcedony spattered with seriously activating uh, red jasper. In the Middle Ages, some believe that the red splotches on the stone surface with the blood of Christ. So, who needs it? The constantly overworked and completely drained by the soul-sucking machinations of modern life, Capricorns. So, some of you also are Capricorns. Where to put it? Wherever you do the important work, spiritual, physical, and psychological. When to use it? When you're totally bled dry and it's time to get into your body and start feeling your damn self. Sleep. <laughs> Sleep. Get some exercise, take nourishment, and call on Bloodstone to drag your ass out of the house to face the day, chin up, head high, power up your vitals. Damn, guys. you, Yeah. I, I hope this is resonating because I feel like you guys really need to be working on these things. Because, again, there's a lot of shit going on. And, again, a lot of this shit is happening in your mind and it's keeping you up at night. So, as far as the magic that you should be working with this full moon, we have beauty. With I have a form which is divine, I allow what is within to shine. So again, working on activating your inner shine, letting it come out more. Again, making sure that you're getting some exercise, you're getting some sleep, you're nourishing your body because it's going to make you feel more beautiful. It's going to make you feel more confident. It's going to bring out your strength for sure. We also have here, go outside. Literally, what was it that just said that? Uh, you know, getting outside. Yeah, drag your ass out of the house and face the day. Literally go outside. We got, it's time to go outside. Tune in to the powerful piece of nature wherever you are and feel at one with your habitat. So yeah, you need to go get outside, get some fresh air because that will help you sleep better. Lastly, for your main cards here, we got meditation. You need to meditate more too. Meet uh, Chutney. 
One day, after a particularly deep meditation, he began to ra uh, radiate and float. He loves to simultaneously be fully present in his body and his spirit. By simply closing his eyes and observing his breath, he is able to feel what is truly going on within him. Each subtle sensation becomes vivid with its own unique texture and energy. His mind is like the wide open sky and his thoughts are like clouds floating by. He watches them arise and dissipate without judgment. Practice with Chet and watch your awareness uh, brighten until life itself becomes a moving meditation. There you guys go. You need to work on meditating more as well. So finally, let's pull some final little cards here for what you need to know in this week. And let's see what we got from the tea leaves. So we got April. So maybe some of this shit has been happening and started back in April. And again, it's time to kind of clear it out. We got lightning here with control your anger or you will be sorry. Bam. That's that five of swords for sure. Go up, get a sneeze. Oh, excuse me. Let's see. We also have here, oh, we got a little group here. We have temptation will test you with the apple. We got star with guaranteed success. We have the eye, psychic ability, trust your intuition. We also have broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. We also have the casket with something going out of your life or the end of a situation, which could be both positive or negative. Just depends. We also have carrot with opportunity or windfall. I feel like we need to pull one final card. And we got July. Ha, huh, so also something that happened in July might have been significant. Okay, one more card. Career. So maybe some of you, this has to do with your career. Your career is going to come up in this week in particular. So... Without further ado, that is everything I'm seeing here in this reading. So if this resonated, please do drop a like down below. Comment down below what you thought about this. And of course, if you'd like to help support this channel in any way, there's going to be various links down below to my Patreon, my Amazon wish list, other social media, and information about how to book a private reading with me or me and my Pisces twins. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.